Which brings us to Dartmouth. <laughs> and a student named Andrew Lowe's. So I'm reliably informed by my research team is in fact pronounced loser. Um, <laughs> in 2012, a former member of Sigma Alpha Epsilon uh, at Dartmouth went to Rolling Stone, that was him, Rolling Stone, with a horror story, terrible horror story, about hazing. It was the subject of the piece and it was titled Confessions of an Ivy League Frat Boy Inside Dartmouth's Hazing Abuses. And considering Rolling Stone's stellar record when it comes to reporting on colleges and frat culture in general, um, we can be sure to trust every word of the report that came out. Yeah. In the piece, Andrew details many of the disgusting hazing rituals to which he was uh, subjected and some of them he witnessed. And they included being beaten by brothers, being forced to crawl through the legs of naked brothers, and being forced to, uh, yeah, it does say that. Being forced to, to uh, uh, um, with a frozen turkey. <laughs> Is Dartmouth still taking applications for next year? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the most egregious tale of hazing that he told was that he was forced to sit or swim in a vast vat of, uh, of bodily effluviant. Uh, of, of, of piss, shit, semen, and vomit. But the problem is it probably never happened. Um, and that's the detail that's ca captured everybody's imaginations. And that's one of the reasons Dartmouth has a, a bad reputation on this stuff. Well, it never happened. What everybody else who was there said is that this guy was drunk off his face. And that what was in the tub wasn't particularly nice. But it was sort of you know, mashed up beans and burgers. And it, anyway, it was gross. But it wasn't any of the things that he said. And it might not have been particularly pleasant, but it wasn't unsanitary to sort of wade around in cold food stuff. This guy, of course, Andrew Loser, um, turned... <laughs> you know, I, I want some... I, I never really liked streaming services. I used to be a technology journalist, and I thought streaming services were a con. Um, and I invented one day um, on... <laughs> on Sky News that the founder, Daniel Ek, who is from uh, somewhere in Scandinavia, I said, um, actually, it's pronounced Eek. Um, and I used to repeat this on British TV all the time. And eventually, p other people started to pick it up. Um, the editor of Wired magazine now calls him Daniel Eek. Um, and nothing I say will persuade him that I made it up. Uh, I, can, I can do nothing to persuade him that I, that, I, that I made this up. And he now regularly refers to him on uh, CNBC as Daniel Eek. Um, anyway, Andrew, <laughs> I was bored. Uh, Andrew Loser, as he will now be known, uh, turns out he was blackout drunk, swam in something that he didn't think that he swam in. Uh, it was probably more like vinegar, soy sauce, salsa, that kind of stuff. Um, gross but not inhumane. It turns out he himself had been suspended for a year after using cocaine and assaulting the witness who said that he'd been using cocaine. And he'd more recently dropped out after being arrested for drunkenly throwing a chair at a campus security guard at 6 a.m. in the morning. This is, as we should, should know by now, the sort of credible witness that Rolling Stone likes to use. <laughs> <laughs> 